the sound of wheels, the echo of a howling train, the hiss of pneumatic doors. All of this is familiar to anyone who has ever descended into the subway in their lives. And now the subway has arrived at Rusty Lake with the new game Underground Blossom. Here is now here, and today I'm providing you with the necessary context for at least a basic understanding of what is happening there, and at the same time trying to predict its plot. And that won't be too hard. Underground Blossom is one of the most teased games since 2020. Mammoth Leaves According to numerous hints and a recent synopsis, we are getting the life story of Laura Vanderboom. And since she is one of the oldest characters in the series, we already know much about her. So there might be spoilers of varying degrees of significance. From simple look I am your father moments to accidentally write guesses about major twists in the new game. I will warn you about them in advance, and it's up to you to decide how much of oblivion you want to keep before diving into Underground Blossom. All the necessary timecodes are in the description. It's fair to start with a backstory. If any game can be considered a direct sequel to Rusty Lake Roots, it's Underground Blossom, as it picks up right where Roots left off. Sooner or later I will provide a detailed recap of that game. When that happens, I'll put the link here and here. For now, however, with a heavy heart, I'll give you a condensed version with minimum information. If you don't want mega spoilers for Roots, which is worth experiencing without spoilers, here's the timecode. So, once upon a time there was William Vanderbilt, a brilliant alchemist of the 19th century who discovered the elixir of life and death. Well, in his case it was more like of death. For such rituals require sacrifices, and William's brother Aldous was more lucky to obtain the eternal life. But no problem is too big for alchemy. William's spirit was already on standby for a ritual that was supposed to resurrect him. And as for the sacrifices which were still unavoidable, they came from the body parts of his numerous family members. Among them, only three are important to us. The beautiful fortune teller Ida Razeher, the ugly sorcerer Albert Vanderboom, and their daughter Rose. However, Rose was related to them only genetically, as Ida didn't love Albert, and for that he killed her. And Rose was cultivated in a test tube using their genetic materials. Yeah. Perhaps Rose inherited some of her mother's psychic abilities, because she was the one who made contact with William's spirit. During their spiritual sessions, he explained who he was, what he wanted, what was needed for the ritual, and she agreed to help. Essentially, this became a death sentence for Albert, as the ritual required his entire brain, while Rose mostly got away with just providing a vial of blood. However, Rose's role was much more significant. She gathered the necessary people, found with them all the hidden timepieces also required for the ritual, she got the golden one with the inscription guard, and finally conducted the rebirth ritual. The resulting baby turned out to be Laura. Rose took on the role of the mother, and this is where Underground Blossom begins. We know the essence of this new game from various sources of varying degrees of directness. We had guessed quite a few things based on vague achievements of 2020 in Samsara Room and Cube Escape Collection, although we were not sure about some of them. In 2022 some things were confirmed, and others were added with more straightforward teasers from the blog and a secret trailer obtained from the alternate reality game of The Past Within. Important clues were given both through secrets in The Past Within itself and a roadmap of 2023. And finally the stuff that nothing compares to. We were given a page on Steam, a full trailer, and even experiencing Underground Blossom through the demo version, with all its secrets related to both the game itself and the aforementioned ARG. Let's add some info from older games and, you know, the emerging picture hardly leaves any gaps. It's far from certain that I've correctly understood all the hints from the devs, but I'll do my best to convey this picture. So spoiler alert 4. Rusty Lake Roots. Cube Escape Seasons and the last achievements in Cube Escape The Cave, both are now part of Cube Escape Collection. The demo of Underground Blossom and the secret of its protagonist related to said achievement in the cave. 
to a secret ending of Paradox, to the past within, and also the ultimate reality game based on it, and also minor spoilers for the white door and its secrets. All the videos that I've made for this list will be waiting for you in the description and will gradually be updated. But even if they don't fill in all the gaps, I recommend coming back to me after playing at least the regular games in the series. However, the decision is still up to you. I'll start with reading an extract from the game synopsis. Descend into the rusty lake underground and travel through life and memories of Laura Vanderpool. Each of seven unique metro stops symbolizing a piece of Laura's past and potential future. As I said before, the game takes place in the subway and essentially tells Laura's story. However, it is likely not an actual subway, and the stations merely symbolize different stages of the character's life, at least because the station names are highly literal. In the demo, we have such as Creep Station and Child Lane. But more importantly, some significant moments of Laura's life, which are literally essential to her story, for sure did not occur in an underground. In each new game, and Underground Blossom is not an exception, two eternal questions arise very quickly. When does the game take place? And who are we playing as? The answer to the first question is sometime around the year of 1935-36. And the secret in the demo gives a direct answer to the second question. According to Laura's photos, it's Harvey. Harvey the parrot who Laura owned until her death. It seems he was with her almost since her birth as well. But what's strange, he looks like an anthropomorphic demigod, just as he was in the hotel. But since then, he most likely died and was reborn as an ordinary bird. Even the wheels of samsara indicate that he was an animal, at least in the early 70s. The last time we saw him before Underground Blossom was in 1930, and I highly doubt anything has changed in the five years behind the scenes. Most likely, Harvey's appearance is just a theatrical costume, just like the subway is merely a stage for this drama. Before we continue, if you like what I'm doing, leave thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And now back to the video. The game itself starts with Laura's infancy, Creep Station, the first of the seven promised by the devs. Everything looks as if she was born just recently. Rose wears the same black dress and the same golden timepiece, which according to the secret envelope from the cave at some point is supposed to shatter. Shadowing artifacts are visible at the location of the shard junctions already in the demo. Rose introduces Laura to Harvey and asks him to take care of her. It's depicted as feeding her and changing diapers, but I doubt a parrot would be equipped for such tasks. For now I believe it's just gameplay. Before departing to the future, Mr. Crow himself checks our tickets. I won't draw any conclusions about what that means. Child Lane, the second station, also doesn't reveal much of the plot yet. It will probably change in the full version. Laura has grown up and finally acquired a defined character. She behaves like an ordinary child who wants to play and eat sweets. As part of the secret, she also plays with a camera, which has been teased multiple times. Rose, on the other hand, betrayed her image of the 19th century goth and now wears a green coat. She asks Harvey to protect Laura from now on, because she may have to leave her. So far, it's not possible to say who or what Laura needs protection from and why Rose has to leave. One possible answer could be Albert. For both questions. According to the past within, Rose was obtaining a scientific degree to resurrect him. And in a secret level of the demo, which is unlocked with the help of the ARG, we even see her memories, where she, in her middle age, caught Albert in a resurrection tank prototype. And before that happens, his spirit ominously appears behind Laura, which is unlikely to mean anything good for her. The third station will most likely be about Laura's school life. It was shown in the trailer, and the gentleman's newspaper from the child lane mentions that the holidays will be ending soon. I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this station. It could potentially depict the end of her happy childhood and the bullying she may face from her peers, but this is mostly speculative. Among the teasers and promotional materials, there are two more stations. If the teasers are accurate, both stations will feature Robert Hill, 
or simply Bob. He was in a relationship with Laura for a time. However, the order of these stations is not entirely clear. In the station with red tiles, they are seen hugging, but in the station with a saxophone player, they are distant. And it's unclear whether they haven't started dating yet, or if they have already broken up. Even other games in the series don't offer much clarity here. The ending of the white door showed us their first encounter. It happened in a park. Laura was sitting on a bench, drawing a robin perched on a nearby tree in her mother's album. Bob, passing by, stopped to look at the beautiful stranger and accidentally scared away the bird. When he realized that she was drawing it, he felt bad and apologized. But strangely, she didn't seem upset at all. She told him that the bird wasn't gone, that it was still in her head. And then she seemed to dive into her memories. Literally, it looks. Their breakup took place at a cafe, seemingly because Laura was already starting to suffer from depression and decided to use the voucher for a resort at Rusty Lake, which she won in a newspaper contest. The only thing that catches the eye is an Oprah poster for the Lady of the Lake. So yeah, in the station with the sax player there is the Oprah poster, Bob sitting on the bench, and Laura seems to be clutching the same album to her chest. Unclear indeed. These two stations also seem to be the perfect place to explain the meaning behind the golden cube calling card in the cave's envelope. It sounds like some kind of alchemical society, either under Mr. Owl's control or in competition with him. In any case, I don't currently see a place or something like that in Laura's backstory, and we'll be watching. Perhaps part of the chapter about the breakup will also be the trip itself, but this is a significant event, important enough not only to show, but also to dedicate an entire sixth station, especially considering that Harvey plays an active role in it and even shows its heroic side by defeating a corrupted soul. Previously I even mentioned a theory, suggesting that Harvey saved Laura from such a soul. Given that it was Rose's direct request, this theory might hold some truth. Also, in the context of the trip, it's worth mentioning the hotel, hinted to be the mental health institution several times. So yeah, in the envelope from the cave, there's a key to room 6, which could be either Laura's bedroom or Mr. Owl's study, who lured Laura to Rusty Lake. In any case, I have high hopes about this, because Mr. Owl's plan regarding Laura and the lake is still unclear to me. Yes, he needed William's elixir. And it's unclear whether he wanted Laura to remember her past life as an alchemist, or he plans to lead her to her grave and retrieve the memories from her corpse, or something else entirely. Very high hopes. As for dedicating a whole station to her death and subsequent corruption of her soul, I'm not entirely sure. We've seen that many times before in various games. However, it's still worth exploring and confirming or disproving some possible reasons for her depression and death. Among these reasons are her troubled childhood, Mr. Owl's schemes, William's memories, Dale, and now, in addition to that, Albert. Damn it. And Harry was also present there. He saw everything and screamed loudly. He was even killed. And now, speaking of the last station, I can't help but mention another excerpt from the synopsis. Solve various puzzles, find the correct metro to board, and uncover one of Laura's timelines while simultaneously helping her make sense of her life and escape the corruption of her mind. This sounds like there may be multiple endings, and they are directly influenced by the player's choices. Depending on the number of these endings, we might witness different versions of the story seen in different games. For instance, the long-awaited Dale's ending, where Laura remains a corrupted soul, but Dale succeeds could perfectly work as a bad ending. Or perhaps a different perspective on the ending of Paradox, where Dale, on the contrary, chose to sacrifice himself to save Laura. Or alternatively, Seasons, specifically Winter 1981, where Laura takes control of her fate and actively fights corruption without help from any Dale. And you know, screw Dale and screw Paradox. If they do, great! If not, like Hacky waited, we can wait too. But I would be incredibly happy to bring Laura a Blossom and Twig, plain as Harvey, and also have her use it to fuel the machine and make the elixir, as the developers are saying. 
Speaking about seasons and Laura's struggle with her corrupted soul using cubes and machines, I can't help but recall the recent game The Past Within. In essence, Rose was doing the same thing for Albert. And it happens around the same time. Now I'm thinking, could Rose have somehow helped Laura too? Of course, it's not necessary at all. If Laura has access to her own cubes, then she definitely has access to William's knowledge. Besides, back in 2015, when the game was released, there was no Rose, nor William with his elixir. However, if the developers retroactively announce at a convention that there is an elixir in Seasons, then why not let Rose help Laura? Don't get me wrong, I'm not stating anything. Until the developers showed it, nothing happened. But they do show something. I don't know what yet, but they are showing something. In the secret level of the demo, we see Rose's memories of her work as a scientist sometime in the 50s or 60s. Yes, these images look like they were put together hastily, but the design of the machine, as well as the meaningless little box, appear as if they were created for a playable level. If this turns out to be a secret level in Underground Blossom, the probability of Rose helping Laura increases significantly. We'll have to wait and see. Finally, I want to make a big global prediction. I think uh, the subway is not just an allegory of Laura's life with different outcomes, but specifically represents her cubes floating in the lake. Among the first hints about the subway, there was a paper in the secret envelope in the cave with numbers and an incomprehensible inscription Reoptmos. The only solution that people came up with was the anagram Cube Metro. So what if it really is a Cube Metro? Or, as it was called in the synopsis, the Rusty Lake Metro? Even the past within seems to confirm this. The cubes there, the past and the future, behave identically. Each contains its isolated world that doesn't influence the others. A separate timeline, you could say, where ordinary people live having ordinary expectations of reality. And only the chosen ones like Albert know that reality is a cube. And the only way out is the lake where all the cubes are located one way or another. Where time does not exist, where the soul blossoms. As the tree that we see in the stained glass in the demo. The developers actually redrew the tree with falling flowers from the past within in a stained glass style. It can blossom either in white or pink. Just like in the main menu of the demo, where either white or pink flowers are randomly chosen during the installation. And in the ending of the past within, with all the achievements unlocked, Harvey stands under that very tree in the middle of the lake in his anthropomorphic form, the one we actually observe in this underground performance. And perhaps it is through the lake that he travels between station cubes. Not only in underground blossom, but also in seasons, for example. When he brings Laura a spring flower that shouldn't have survived during the winter. I may be wrong in some aspects. Darn. I may be wrong about every single prediction from the beginning of the video to its end. But I'm truly excited about what the developers are doing. I haven't felt such a thrill from a connection of two games since Case 23 and The Mill. It's like the developers have launched a whole new storyline, parallel to Dale's arc, and it seems it will only continue to expand. Here was nowhere. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to discuss my predictions or suggest your own, I invite you to the comment section, to Rusty Lake subreddit, or the official Rusty Lake Discord. Have a nice game, and remember, Question everything in Rusty Lake.